Hello, I'd like to call the meeting to attention at, uh, at 8 o'clock for the, uh, the agenda for May 14th, 2018. First, we do the invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Hardin, could I ask you to do something? You may have already done it, but uh, I'd like you to do another one, okay? Dear Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come together as a community. We ask that you shed your light on us. You, we ask that you shed the light on making the appropriate decisions for the community. And these things we pray, amen. Amen. Okay, I'm looking for a motion to approve the minutes of April 9th, 2018 and a special meeting of May 2nd, 2018. I'll make a motion. Seconded by, a uh, motion by Mr. Pia, seconded by Mr. Harden. Harden, there he goes, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, any discussion? If not have any discussion or any adjustments, call to vote. All in favor of accepting the minutes as they are, say aye. Aye. Opposed, chair votes yes, motion passes 10-0. I'm sorry, 9 0. Um, next thing, we're accepting a letter of resignation from. Uh, I'm sorry. Who? Yep, yep. There we go again. It's 8 0. I always kid everybody, you got to learn how to count to 10. I guess I got to take my own ideas. Okay, so we've got a letter of resignation uh, for Ms. Sylvia Martin. Can I get a motion to accept her resignation? Mr. Uh, Chairman, I'll make a motion to accept the resignation of Sylvia Martin from the Beautification Committee. Okay, a motion by Mrs. Dancho for accepting Sylvia Martin's Beautification Committee resignation. Is there a second? Second. Second Seconded by Mr. O'Brien. Is there any discussion? If not, we'll call to vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes yes, motion passes 8-0. Next thing on the line at 4.1, the uh, mayor's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We've had a uh, busy month this week. Uh, this We've had a busy month, and we capped it off last week with a visit from the uh, New England Regional Administrator from EPA, Alexander Dunn, and State Commissioner uh, of DEEP, Rob Clee, who were here to talk about the Raymark Ballfield remedi remediation um, waste and program. The project will start to be underway this coming uh, June. We expect the fence to be up on the, behind Cottage uh, Place and Patterson and that'll be the start of the project. The Opportunity Zone designation, we were awarded the Opportunity Zone uh, by the State of Connecticut. It's a federal program and it's for Census Tract 804. Uh, it's near Honey Spot Road, the roundabout that project that we're doing on Stratford Avenue. There is a forum that will be held on Wednesday, May 16th, at 7 o'clock. That's this Wednesday at Room 110 at the Bird's Eye Center if anyone wants additional information about the program. On the 25th of April, we open the El Grasso uh, pool. The hours of the pool are Wednesdays and Fridays, roughly from 9.30 to 12.20. There are swim periods in between. Uh, each of those those times. Anyone wishing to use the pool must provide a proof of Stratford residency. Uh, there's some other criteria, but it is a handicap accessible pool for those who can tolerate waters of 90 degrees or so. Uh, they're more than welcome to use it. We had a stakeholders meeting about the Army engine plant in Hartford on April 24th, and a record of decision is scheduled for December of 2018 regarding the remediation of the mudflats. On Thursday, May 24th, we are host hosting the Stratford's annual Veterans Breakfast. It will be a Bazano's Four Seasons. Um, we ask that veterans and their guests register by Thursday, May 17th to Chris Bandecki uh, in the mayor's office. 
Stratford was, has received a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting by the Government Financiers Office Association of the United States and Canada for its comprehensive and annual financial report. So I guess it's, uh, here's to our Finance Director, Jay, congratulations, and to Chris Timniak, our CAO. This past Friday, or actually a week ago Friday, we celebrated the 40th anniversary of Senior Services. Also that evening, we celebrated the 60th anniversary of Stratford Rotary Club. We uh, had a visit from Deputy Commissioner of DECD, David Corris, regarding the Center School Project, 110 Sikorsky Project, and Cleet Streets. We met with Congresswoman DeLauro on April 9th, had a school building tour of several of the buildings, participated in the David Ryan Keeley Memorial Garden, Housatonic River cleanup and Project Green Sweep on April 21st, where we collected 11 tons of trash. Short Beach and Long Beach cleanups and Longbrook Park cleanup, headed by our councilman from the first and the second district. Larkin Court cleanup was headed by Reva Stevenson on April 28th. Restaurant week, we had 32 participating uh, ice creams, breweries, and restaurants. And then we held a center school informational meeting on April 22nd. Some updates, um, well, events and updates. Pizza Co. has celebrated its first anniversary. Woohoo! hoo um, Stratford Baseball and Little League had opening days on April 24th. The library celebrated their great fundraiser, uh, Murder is a Family Business, where we all dance the night away, several of us that are on the dais. Uh, there was an educational seminar, Navigating Workplace Harassment, on April 26th. I participated in the uh, Stratford High School National Honor Society induction on May 1st. Tapped a keg in Hers Honor on, uh, at Two Roads on May 3rd. And was the bee master, God only knows what that is, but a bee master for the Junior Women's Club for the fifth and sixth grade spelling bee on um, May 7th. And lastly, uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make the council aware of some appointments for the historic district. Um, I am appointing David Fuller uh, for the term expiring 2023. It's a reappointment. Kaz Mazira for the term expiring 2022, replacing Rich Fredette. Ryan Ehrenhaus, uh, his term expires 2021 as a reappointment. David Durgey, a term expiring 2020, replacing Penny Nablin. And Tony Smith, uh, term expiration 2019, replacing Patricia Pisti. Also as alternates, I'm naming Megan Merwin, Michael Bingham, and Daryl Brock. And for the Booth Park Commission, there's an opening due to a resignation, and I'd like to appoint Paula Malika as a replacement for Stephanie Phillips. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Next thing is committee reports. Mrs. Dancho, did you have something? I have a short report from the Conservation Commission that met last Tuesday. Uh, Tina Bato asked me to just say a few things. Um, the, they met last Tuesday and they discussed a proposal for a 319 water quality grant that was submitted to DEEP for a wetlands buffer planting along Brewster's Pond and educational outreach on stormwater management. The Housatonic River cleanup happened on April 21st as our mayor just reported, there was 215 volunteers who participated in that event where they collected 11 tons of trash. Planning has begun for Forest to Shore Day. It's gonna be on Saturday, September 22nd. The Conservation Department has arranged for Sacred Heart University to give tours of the living shoreline at Stratford Point. Trout Unlimited will conduct fresh and saltwater fishing demonstrations. Conservation commissioners will pro provide educational tours of Lewis Gut and Long Beach. Participation in the United Water Study will continue this year with five sampling stations for water quality in the Housatonic River. Ooh, sorry. Dad. <laughs> sorry, Dad. Again, the Conservation Department received a grant for participation and all sampling equipment is provided by Save the Sound. Sampling will take place from the fire department vessel with the crews over time being funded through the grant. Commissioners had an open discussion on the following, establishing best practices for commenting on applications to town departments that have an environmental component. 
especially inland wetlands applications, and they are also discussed a way to launch an effort to reduce use of plastics in town, especially but not limited to, to straws, balloons, plastic bags, and plastic water bottles. And that was it. Um, I need to circle back around for questions for the mayor. Does anything have oh, before? Sorry. No, no, it was my fault. Uh, <laughs> any question for Mrs. Dancho before we single back to the mayor? No? Okay. Any questions for the mayor? <laughs> yeah, I know. Question for the mayor? Uh, um, Mr. Can, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. I, uh, I didn't think you were going to stop talking, so I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> Once I get started, uh, SAEP, uh, the, a date of December 2018 was mentioned. Can you describe what the context of that date is? The Army Corps of Engineers anticipates having a record of decision by December 2018. That record of decision will award the contract of the cleaning of the mudflats. Any further questions? Mr. Gadeem, did you have a question? Yes, sir, Chair. Thank you very much. Um, just before I even got here, a constituent was speaking to me, and I'm quite sure we can talk about this. It's occurring behind my block. It's a big mound of dirt or something, and a big concern. And I was explaining to him, you know, there are factories in our area, so that could be a company moving dirt. So, I, I mean, that's something that not just her, another person actually knocked on my door and had me come out and point to the, the place where that is, that is. And she was speaking about they had a situation like that in Bridgeport where rats started coming in because of something like that. Me not being knowledgeable in that area, I'm looking to speak with you off the record to try to find out what, can be, we, can, what, what, what we can do going forward. Because I really, I, I've never addressed this situation, but I, it definitely needs some attention. So that's pretty much it. It's nothing else. And keep up the good work you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kadeem. I, um, if you could give us the address of the or the location of the mound of dirt, then we can investigate it. And uh, the health uh, director is here, uh, Andrea. So maybe she has more information too. Thank you, Yana. Any further questions? If not, we'll move on to uh, 4.3.1, Building Needs Committee. I'm looking for a motion. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion that the recommendation of the Building Needs Committee is accepted and Turner change order number 50 B and is hereby approved. There, there's a motion from Mr. Tickey. Is there a second? Second, Dave Harden. Uh, second from Mr. Harden. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? If not, hearing any, I'll uh, call this to a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes yes. A motion passes 9-0. I'm looking for a motion from 4.3.2 Public Works. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion uh, Stratford Ave Honey Spot Road Project Phase 2 of environmental testing to be coordinated with Geotech Borens not to exceed $22,300. I make a recommendation the public works is accepted and item A, B, and is hereby approved. There's a motion for Mr. Tickey. Is there a second for Mr. Harden? Thank you, Mr. Harden. Um, any discussion on this? If there's no discussion, I'll call to a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes yes. Motion passes 9-0. Next item is uh, the town attorney's report. Uh, Mr. Chair? I'm sorry, back up. Item B. 4.3.2 uh, B, is there a motion? Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion that the recommendation of the Public Works Committee is accepted and item B, B, and is hereby approved also. Is there a second? Mr. Perillo, uh, is there any discussion on this? If not, we'll call to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes 9-0 with the chair voting. Yes. Now we'll go to the town attorney's report, Mr. Hodson. We'd ask to move to uh, item 4.4.1 in executive session. There's a motion for uh, to move the executive session for 4.4.1. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, uh, I move that we go into executive session 
to discuss the purchase of real estate located at 952 East Broadway, adjacent to the center school property, as uh, publicity regarding such site and purchase by the town would likely adversely impact the price of such a site. The persons in attendance of executive session shall be the members of town council, town attorney Christopher Hodgson, assistant town attorneys Leclerc, Leclerc, Florick, and Jackson, Mayor Laura Hoydick, Chief Administrative Officer Christopher Timniak, and Finance Director Mr. Jay Wahlberg. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? A second for Mr. O'Brien. Is there any discussion? If not, we'll take a vote and then we'll all in favor go into executive session? Aye. Aye. Motion passes 9-0. Let's go to break for executive session. <laughs> 